Fedora Project has officially declared the final phase of Fedora Linux 43 as Go, signaling that the release is now locked and set to ship on Tuesday, October 28, 2025. This follows the successful Go slash No Go meeting held on October 23rd. In fact, Fedora 43 was originally expected to be finalized a week earlier, but the release team voted NOGO on October 16th, citing several unresolved blocker bugs and incomplete testing coverage. Among the critical problems that held the release back were any tramps bloat, a new default hostily mode equals sloppy caused significant increases in the any tramps image size, seven zip library linking failure, the command couldn't locate its shared library when invoked using a full path. Installer menu malfunction. Dropdowns in the Anaconda web UI, KD, failed to work correctly. These issues, combined with a regression that prevented Grub from booting Windows systems with BitLocker, forced developers to spend additional time validating fixes and re-spinning the release candidate. Fortunately, by October 23rd, all remaining blockers had either been resolved, downgraded, or granted freeze exceptions. After another full round of validation testing, the Fedora QA team declared that everything is now stable enough for release. This decision officially puts Fedora 43 on track for its final release on October 28th, with backup dates of November 4th and 11th in case of last-minute regressions. Here's what we can expect from this release. Powered by Linux kernel 6.17, the distro ships with GNOME 49 as its default desktop and completes the transition to a Whalen-only session, dropping the legacy X11 option for improved graphics handling and security. Fedora's other flagship edition, the one featuring KD, will ship with a Plasma 6.4.5 desktop environment. Plus, the Anaconda web installer has been updated to use the new web-based UI for all Fedora spins by default, and the installer has switched to use DNF5 instead of DNF4 for package installation during setup. Developers benefit from a refreshed toolchain featuring GCC 15.2, LLVM 21, and glibc 2.42, alongside faster builds and performance improvements across the board. Under the hood, the release introduces ZSTD compressed any tramps for quicker boot times, enhanced reproducible build coverage, and ongoing work toward integrating RPM6, which brings improved signature and key handling capabilities, though strict signature enforcement will come in a later release. Lastly, language stacks are refreshed across the board, too, featuring Python 3.14 and Go 1.25, while Fedora server and cloud variants inherit the same under-the-hood optimizations. So, the final stable Fedora 43 release is just around the corner, and as always, you can count on a detailed review here once it officially lands.